Okay, so we've done a whole heap of stuff already. Today what we're going to do is look at serial pins. So basically input. We look, no problems with the output, but today we're going to look at input. Now you can see here we have a basically a very, very tiny button. Um, on the bottom of the button are these legs. Now unfortunately these legs won't fit into any of the pins, so what we have to do is cut, chop that off. And here's one I prepared earlier. So you have a button like this. Now, on our Adreno sketch, uh, our Adreno program, I'm going to go to examples. I'm going to go to uh, I'm going to go to digital digital input pull up. It's very simple. Basically, all it is, if we look at the code here, it says um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to have a switch attached from pin two to ground. I'm going to use the built-in LED pin 3. Okay. So first thing I have to be able to do is plug my switch, which is my here, into pin 2, which is going to be here, and ground. Now they're not next to each other, so I can't really do it that way. So I'm going to use uh, my male to female uh, wire. So I'm going to plug 1 into pin 2. And one into ground, and we can use any ground we want. As long as it actually um, plugged into the ground. Okay, so that's pin two, and then on the other side, I've got my two male pins. I was going to plug my button straight in there. Okay, so basically, there's my wire going into pin two into ground. Now the idea is that when I do this, uh, we're going to look at, we can see Blink is already running on this Adreno board. So we should be able to get uh, this, when I press this button, it should it should turn on. Now we'll look at the code. This, first of all, it says setup. It's got this bit here, serial begin 9600. Now that basically is creating a port where the, the Adreno board is feeding back to the computer. If I go up to the top where it says tools and serial monitor, this is where our report is. Okay, so this will tell us when things are happening. All right. I'll just check while we're here. Remember, I have to have Adreno Uno and USB. Yep, cool. So I said pin two is input pull up. So basically, what that means is it's expecting to read something. When I close the circuit, it's actually going to uh, be able to read it and then it will give me the result. Pin 13 is our output. Remember pin 13 gives us this um, flashing light here or I could plug in an LED to pin 13 but I don't need to do that. Now let's have a look. Loop, under our loop it says in um, it says int sense of value equals digital read 2. So basically uh, the integer of the, of the sense of value is whatever we get from read 2. Serial print line sensor valve. So basically, this means that on here, it's going to it's going to give me the result for val for the value. And print ln means put each time on a new line. Okay. Uh, keep in mind, right? So here now it says if sensor value equals high, then turn the light off. Otherwise, turn the light on. Right. Now remember that it's back to it's saying here that it's back to front. So basically, when the button's pressed, it will turn on pin 13. So what we'll do is, let's go load it up. Okay, compiling a sketch. Just try to connect it through. And there we go. Now, it's done that. I'm just going to bring up the serial monitor. So you can see here, it's going 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. It's waiting for me to press this button here. Okay, so... I'm going to press this button. Oops, you see a couple of different things happen. So, oops. first of all, press the button. You can see the lights coming on. All right. So right here, pin 13 is coming on. So on, off, on, off. Now, also, as I'm pressing this button, if we look down here, these are ones. So when I press the button, they go to zeros. Let go, it goes to off. Okay, so basically we're having the computer tell us some things. So press on, 